This is the second section of chapter six. So this is your lecture for 6.2. In this section, we're going to continue with factoring. In the last section, we factored out GCFs. So now we're going to start factoring trinomials. Okay. When you're factoring a trinomial, it means there's three terms. One, two, three. If there's not a number in front of x squared other than the understood one, you can go directly to your parentheses. What do you multiply to get x squared? That has to be x and x, okay? And then you ask yourself, what do you multiply to get a positive 12? And this is the positive, so we want it to add to equal a positive 7 in the middle. Okay, so I want the factors of 12. And I want the sum to be a positive 7. So I can say 1 times 12 but that adds to 13. Two times six, and that adds to eight. Three times four, hey, that'll add to seven. Okay, since I want a positive seven, they both have to be positive. So plus three, plus four, and you're done. Anytime, This last term here is positive. Both parentheses will carry this sign, whatever it is. Let's look at another one. Okay, I have an understood one in front of my p squared, so I can go directly to my parentheses. And I know it's p and p. Factors of 24, because that's a positive 24, whose sum is negative 11. Now remember, I said if the last term is positive, both numbers will carry a negative in this case, because the middle term is negative. So negative one times negative 24, but that adds to tw negative 25. Negative 2 times negative 12 is a negative 14. Negative 3 times negative 8 will give me that negative 11. Okay. So how do I know if a trinomial is not factorable? So for this one, it's asking for the factors of 12. Okay, whose sum is a positive 10. Now positive, positive, of course, means both signs are positive. So one times 12 adds to 13. Two times six adds to eight. And three times four adds to seven, but nothing adds to 10, does it? Therefore, this trinomial is prime or you could think of it as not factorable. Okay, now this is the same idea. The only difference here is I have a second variable on the end. So two parentheses, p and p, factors of 21, negative, whose difference, anytime the last term is negative, you want the difference to be a positive 4. Okay, so negative 1 times 21, okay,
Actually, since I'm throwing negatives in there, you want their sum. Sometimes I don't throw the negatives, but that confuses people sometimes. So that gives me a 20. And negative 2 times, doesn't go in, 3 times 7. Hey, that gives me a positive 4, doesn't it? So I need a negative 3 and a positive 7. And because I've got Q squared on the end, each of those get a Q. One more. <clears throat> You always want to look when you start to factor to see if there's something in common first. So if I look here, I see there's a 3 and a u in common. So divide by 3, take out a u. Divide by 3, take out a u. Divide by 3, take out a u. So 3u is still part of my answer. And since this is a u squared, I know it's going to be u and u. Since this is a negative, I know I want one of each sign. So I want the factors of negative 30 whose sum is negative 7. Okay, negative 1 times 30 is 29. Negative 2 times 15 is 13. Negative 3 times 10 is 7. Now, we've got the right number, but we've got the wrong sign. So if you find that, and you know you're doing one positive and one negative, you want to switch the signs. So I want a negative 10 and a positive 3. And that's your lecture for 6.2.